Welcome. Today we are going to find the area of a regular hexagon. How do we find the area of a regular hexagon? Well, I'm going to show you. Shout out to Topher. So a regular hexagon, what the word regular means is that all these sides are equal. All of these sides are equal. So this is four, 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 and four for this hexagon. If you were to find the perimeter, you would do four times six because there's six. That would find the perimeter. But we want to find the area of this hexagon. Now, I want to show you something here. Whoops. Look at this. A regular hexagon is made up of... Oh, uh, missing one. <laughs> oh, there it is. A regular hexagon, let's try this again, is made up of how many congruent triangles? So a regular hexagon is made up of six congruent triangles. So take, take a visual of this, six congruent triangles for a regular hexagon. And if you find the area of just one of these triangles, you can multiply that by six in order to find the area of the regular hexagon. All right, so I'm gonna put those geometric blocks down, those magnet blocks. Do you have some of those at home? And now, watch this. I'm going to get a different color and show you the six congruent triangles. Now, is mine to scale? No, mine isn't to scale because I just freehand drew this, but you can see six congruent triangles right here. So let's find the area of this triangle. The area of a triangle is one half the base times the height, or base times height divided by two. So four times five is 20, divided by two, or multiplied by one half, is 10. So that means this area is 10 units squared. This is 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10. So 10 times six is an area of 60, units squared for the area of the hexagon. Thanks guys, hope you got a lot out of area of the hexagon, bye.